Good day, human Latios Knights. This is Latios Azuril, and welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Sacred Gold Extreme Wedlock. Here we are inside the Pokemon League at the at the Indigo Plateau. Now let's talk to this cadaver to move on to the third room. Since last time, Gunther and Carol each swept Koga and Will respectively. So this time we're gonna take on the final two members of the Elite Four of the Kanto and Johto region. So, all right, I see Bruno. You know what, I'm actually gonna let Phoebe lead off because I'd rather Phoebe get experience than Ross, and Phoebe does have, a, does have an advantage against fighting. And yeah, I think I'm better off using, the, I'm best off using this pair here. So let's do this. I am Bruno of the Elite Four. I always train to the extreme, because I believe in our potential. That is how we became strong. Can you withstand our power? Hm. I see no fear in you. You look determined. Perfect for battle. Ready, Latizul? You will bow down to our overwhelming power. Hoo ha! So here we go against the third member of the Elite Four, Bruno. So he's probably gonna have a bunch of fighting type Pokemon. He's leading off with the Hitmontop, that is fine. He's going to intimidate us most likely, but not to worry because this pair is basically a special attacking duo. Let's go for an Air Slash. You're going to go for a Fake Out, that's fine with me. I really don't care about that little... It's pretty much negligible damage because the biggest thing Fake Out can do is break a Sash or a Sturdy. We don't have either, so I'm not too concerned. And nice crit, Phoebe! Hitmontop is down. Goodbye, get out. Okay, next up is gonna be a Hitmonchan. Huh. Let's stay in. The thing I'm worried about is Hitmonchan probably has the elemental punches, but as long as we don't miss the air slash, we should be fine. That, I mean, Hitmonchan, I don't, I think it has physical defense. So yeah, all right, we're fine. All right, Hitmonchan is down. Next up is Machamp. Okay, Machamp we should be fine because it's probably going to have no guard. Dynamic Punch won't do very much to either of our Pokémon, plus Air Slash is guaranteed to hit if it has no guard. So, I don't think Machamp can live that. No, it cannot! Machamp is down. Phoebe is on a roll. <laughs> oh my goodness. Alright, Phoebe grew to level 57. I want to learn Hydro. Well, I need Fly, because it's an HM and I can't lose it anyway. I definitely need Ice Beam. Hydro Pump does double Water Pulse, but it's not accurate and it doesn't have many power points. Air Slash is, is kind of important for us to have, so I'm actually not going to get, get um, learn Hydro Pump. It's going to give up on it. I just can't rely on Hydro Pump in, a, um, in, in an Extreme Lock. Alright, next up is Hariyama. Go for an Air Slash. Oh dear god, you better not miss. Okay, good. Besides, why are you going for a Focus Punch on, an, on a, a, a... pretty much a Pelican? Why are you going for a Focus Punch on a flying Pokémon? Seriously, Bruno! If you're gonna go for a Focus Punch, at least set up a Substitute first. Or should I say thank you? <laughs> okay. Maybe you were anticipating on me missing? I, I, I really don't know. Either way, Ariyama's down, so for Hitmon Lee, let's go for an Air Slash. If Hitmon Chan couldn't survive, I don't think Hitmon Lee is. Hitmon Lee is down. I'm thinking Phoebe probably should have a sweep by now. Lucario. Huh. Alright, Lucario actually. Uh, fighting as hard as you can until you faint. Lucario should actually be able to survive an Air Slash, unless we can get a flinch, because I know that Steel-type is going to resist the Flying-type. Can we get a flinch, though? No, you're going to land a Psychic. Um, maybe you should be able to survive a Psychic. It's not sad. We're standing firm! Okay. You know what, I'm just going to go for a Water Pulse, because you're probably going to- Wow, you didn't use a full Restore. Whatever, this is still Stab, you should go down. So, yeah. Alright, Lucario is down. Plus, we had better accuracy anyway that way. And we defeated Elite Four Bruno. Why? How could we lose? I have no idea. But, that said, 
Phoebe with the sweep. So far, all three members of the Elite Four have just been swept by one Pokemon. Having lost, I have no right to say anything. Go face your next challenge. Okay. Fair enough. So, next we'll go to the final room. Or at least the fourth room. The final Elite Four room. Thank you, Kadabra. Alright. For this one... First of all, let's heal up Phoebe, because... Well, she did a good job. You're at minus one health point. That, that is, that's sad. Alright, well... Okay. I'm gonna let Monica and Chandler handle this one, so this way they can do something. They can actually take on one member of the Elite Four, since so far... <clears throat> I just noticed something. So far, the three Pokémon on our team who we have used the least in the series are the ones that took on the first two members of the Elite Four and swept them free, um, and each swept one. We had three sweeps by our least used Pokémon. That is awesome. I'm not gonna lie. So, Chandler, you ready for this? Okay, I'm glad you're nodding because here we go. I am Karen of the Elite Four. You're a lot of Zul. How oh, amusing. I love dark type Pokemon. I'm known for my overwhelming um, tactics. Think you can take them? Just try to entertain me. Let's go. So here we go against the fourth member of the Elite Four, the dark type user, Karen. So, Karen is going to be leading off with a mighty Yenna. Okay, it's actually a good thing we didn't lead off with Monica because otherwise we would have been intimidated. Now, obviously, since it's the dark, I could not use. Um, Gunther, or, uh, or I wouldn't really want to use Ross, that's why I use this pair, definitely. Carol probably could do okay, but then again, I wouldn't want to run a Bug Buzz. Let's go for a Flamethrower, since this way we won't be affected by, well, the, uh, Intimidate. Should be able to do some nice damage. Yeah, we are gonna KO, so Mightyena is down. Next up is Honchcrow. I'm gonna go into Monica because Chandler could go for an Ice Punch, or a Thunder Punch, which would be super effective, but we are at minus one and it's not stabbed, so Monica has a better attack, I'm pretty sure, and isn't at minus one. So let's go for an Ice Punch. This way we have that chance of freezing. If we don't KO, that is. Can we get a KO or a freeze? Give me a freeze, please. No, okay. All right. Monica, can you survive a rave bird? Oh my goodness, it did a lot of damage. But Honchkrow did kill itself, so at least we have that going for us. Alright, next up is Umbreon. Let's switch back into Chandler, because I get this feeling that Umbreon is going to try to go for a, um, probably going to start setting up curses. So. Go for Flame Wheel. Oh, you're a PP stalling Umbreon. You better not be a Toxic Staller. Double Protect! Stall. Just too much stall. At least if you try going for a Triple Protect. If it would have landed a Triple Protect, then I would be so upset. Okay, you're gonna go for a Dark Pulse. Chandler, I think you can survive that, because usually Umbreon is better defensive. You gotta be kidding me. I think I would have rather you go for the Toxic. Okay, finally your Double Protect failed. If you would have landed two Double Protects in one battle, I would have been really mad. I don't like Umbreon that much. I mean, it's cool and all, but it is just so stally. It is one of the most stallish Pokemon I've ever seen. But I love Espeon. All right. Let's keep in Chandler. They also love Magic Bounce, which is one of the things that really is awesome about Espeon. Okay, let's go for Flamethrower and the Absol. Can we just get a KO here? Because Absol should be less defensive than Umbreon. Okay, good, Absol is down. All right, and next up is Spiritune. Go into Monica. 
just because. Let's go for a stab dizzy punch, because I just love using and taking advantage of Scrappy. We got a KO on this thing. Or a confusion. Ah, confusing. Alright. Please just hurt yourself, Spirit Tomb. Please. Thank you. Please not to the point where, you, where it'll call for it. Okay. You know what? I don't even care if you can use a full restore because we're going to outspeed, so... You're done either way. That confusion really mattered. And we get a crit anyway! Spirit Tomb is so down. Oh my goodness. Okay, next up is Houndoom. Let's switch back in the Chandler, because I don't think Monica's gonna be able to survive a hit. And... Please tell me you're not a sashed Houndoom like the one that killed Rachel. This is far from being backed into a corner. Oh, and you're gonna intimidate us. That's not good. Let's go for strength. I don't think it's gonna KO anyway. So even if you are sashed, plus we resist one of your stabs. Your other stab is probably going to do some damage, but... Oh, your citrus. I don't even care. I don't even care. It doesn't even matter. Oh! You're setting up a nasty plot. But we're going to outspeed you, so your nasty plot's not even going to matter. So, you shouldn't, you shouldn't get greedy like that. You really shouldn't. We're not even really overleveled. So, that said, we have defeated the Leaf 4 Karen. Oh, aren't you good? I like that niche trainer. Strong Pokemon, weak Pokemon. That is only the selfish perception of people. Truly skilled trainers should try to win with their favorites. I like your style. You understand what's important. Keep moving. The champion is waiting. All right. I see an Alakazam there. It's a little different. So. Now, I am probably going to... Yeah, I'm going to use Ross and Phoebe for the uh, champion because... Well, other than the fact that Phoebe has Ice Beam, which is going to be essential to beating a bunch of dragons, and also since a lot of dragons fly, Ross does have that power gem, Ross is also our highest level Pokemon, so it makes sense that he's probably... He's the one that pretty much has been putting in, I feel like, the most work overall throughout the LP. I mean, with the exception of the very beginning, where it was mostly um, Chandler and Monica, because I didn't, I couldn't use Rachel that much, because she was kind of not very specially defensive. And now Phoebe is really defensive. So, um, actually not really defensive, just pretty defensive. That said, I'm gonna for now take the King's Rock from Carol, and I'm gonna give it to Phoebe. Because this is up to those two. Unless, is there an item I'd rather give? I mean, the sash could be useful, but... No, I didn't want to give you the Destiny Knot. No, 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 I meant to give you the King's Rock. This way... You'll both have the chance of the flinch on anything. Also, you won't take damage from burn, or you really won't be affected by burn with the exception of bite, because burn won't hurt you because of the magic guard. You have rain dish, so if rain was up, that would be nice. Um, if ice beam, which can be important, air slash can be important. You're probably not going to be using water pulse, but that's just that. You know what, I might as well just put those two moves at the top, since here, those are most likely to be used. Psychic at the top, because my, the most likely move to be used is probably going to be Psychic. You know what, I think it's the same deal with you. Now, But seriously, Carol, Gunther, and um, and Phoebe have just, they just put in so much work in this Elite Four. Chandler and Monica really put in work against, uh, against Karen, though. It's just incredible that we, we were able to do this without, I mean, we weren't even that highly overleveled. 
So I get a bad feeling that Lance is going to be stronger. And you know what? We do have this potion that we got. I might as well just give it to Phoebe just because, just for good measure. Because, um, well, this way she has that little bit of health back. And I literally mean one hit point. But, next time, we're gonna go in and we're gonna challenge the champion. The Dragon Master himself, Lance. So thank you for watching, as always, like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you next time as we take on the Pokemon League Champion. Goodbye.